Hey everybody, today I am at Santee National Wildlife Refuge. It's near Santee, South Carolina and Somerton, South Carolina. I'm not exactly sure which place it's in, but it's in Clarendon County. But um, it's a neat little place. It has two different entries into it. I know there's one further up the road. This right here is exit 102 off of I-95. And then further in the video, whenever I go to the other part of it, that's really cool. I'll have to tell you what exit that is. I think it's 108, but we'll have to make sure. But I don't wanna tell you any wrong information. But right now I'm standing where the bluff unit is at and there's a nature trail back there. I probably won't walk it because it's been raining and I don't want to get stuck in the rain. But anyway, I'm going to show you around a little bit. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. walk to where the trail starts at then I'll turn back around shows this is Wright's Bluff Nature Trail and you can hike but you cannot bring your dog or your bicycle back here and there's an archaeological site in this area so this right here is pretty cool too I love any kind of fungus I just think it's amazing to look at that it's just so beautiful So this is a sign that tells you about what the bluff unit's about and it says that there is a diversity of wildlife species that occupy the various habitats found on Santee National Wildlife Refuge and there's nearly 300 species of birds, 35 mammal species and 89 reptiles and amphibian species making their home here and it lets you know that the painted bunting comes here. Probably won't see any today because I don't think it's time for them and then there's an Indian mound over there and it said it dates back to more than 1,000 years. The Indian Mound often thought as of a burial mound was used more predominantly as substructure for a temple. The temple would have been a simple structure form with sticks and mud. The area was surrounded by numerous smaller mounds, none of which remain today. The British erected Fort Watson atop the mound during the Revolutionary War, only to have it taken by General Francis Marion's troops in 1781. So there's a little bit of history for you. And the, reef, the refuge is open from dawn to dusk every day. Okay, so now we're over at Fort Watson, and it says the first post in South Carolina retaken from the British, the Stockade Fort. On this old Indian mound had control of the road from Charleston to Camden, as well as the Santee River. On April 15, 1781, General Francis Marion and Lieutenant Colonel Henry Lee encircled it with troops while Major Hekazaya, maybe, Mayhem, built a log tower whose fire would command it. On April 23rd, the Americans undermined the works and forced its surrender. So there's your history lesson for today. And then they have these nice tablet things over here about the swamp fox. And I'll just let you read all that yourself. Keep it there long enough. And if you haven't been to Francis Marion's grave, I highly suggest it. It's really, really good. And I do have a video about that too, that you can watch if you're interested. You just got to go to my library.
And it says Santee National Wildlife Refuge was established in 1942. So it's been here for quite a while. So that up there is the mound. And I may not talk too much whenever I get up there because there is people here. I don't think I'm odd talking to myself. Which it is December 30th, 2021. So maybe a lot of people's heading back home from vacation for Christmas. Since it's almost New Year's. I do not like stairs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta take a breather for a second. <laughs> Views beautiful. That's beautiful Lake Marion over there. I'm gonna stop at this one for a second, but it says, after being abandoned by the Santee Indians, the um, site took on a more violent role during the American Revolutionary War. And it was known as Fort Watson. And then many American soldiers lost their lives in the first attack in 1781. And the fall of Fort Watson was an important victory, eventually leading to the British to abandon inland South Carolina.
It's a lot easier to go down instead of go up. There's a closer view of Lake Marion. There's a lot of thunder out here today too. It has been raining all morning though, so hopefully I won't get caught in a storm. I don't know if you can hear the rumble or not on the video. So here's another parking area and that sign right there tells you exactly what I read in the other one. And this right here says collecting, searching for, removing or destroying artifacts or possession of metal detecting devices are prohibited. So we don't want to be doing that here, which I don't own any of that stuff anyway, so I can't. But I wouldn't anyway because, you know, it's history. Oh, Lord, this is beautiful. A little beach out here. Oh Lord, this is beautiful. disappointed I haven't been here before. I've been to the wildlife refuge, but I haven't been to this part. Not out here. The only place I visited the last time was the burial ground and the um, kudu unit. Might be kudu unit. I don't know. Kudu, kudu. C-U-D-D-O is how you spell it if you need to look it up. I'm going to take a moment here. This is Lake Marion. It's just so beautiful. I did not know I had such a beautiful view here in the state of South Carolina. I always go to the state park to get this kind of view. But even there, I don't get this kind of view. So I'm getting ready to flip the camera back around. So I'm going to show the shells and everything that's down there. So that actually looks like driftwood. And then... There's shells down there. And we're a good two hours away from Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. We need beach for that matter. This one says no open fires, no swimming, and no camping. You don't have to worry about that for me because I don't do any of those. There's one final view of that beautiful, beautiful lake view from here. Oh. just do a screenshot and it is on exit 108 if you want to go see the other unit of it and that was really cool so I'll definitely go back there and do another video whenever um the weather is better but it's exit 108 to get to that in two um, miles, for I-95 um, in Summer South Carolina and they have alligators and stuff like there so I'm all about the alligators and they probably would have been out today because it's 71 degrees in the end of December but anyway, I did not know it was lightning whenever I was out there taking the video of the water that you just saw previously. I was like, oh, it was out there lightning while you were out there at the water. 
So I don't know if that showed up or not, but we'll see. So did you enjoy what you did see from the car? Yeah, yeah she stayed in the car the whole time. I gotta take my fire ants whenever I was up there talking at one of the things. <laughs> but anyway, if you did watch the video, I'm happy that you watched it and hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, bye.